Hello everybody, so this is going to be the look that we do a tutorial on today. Very like mermaid in the Caribbean kind of vibe is what I get here. So I posted something on Facebook, um, five different palettes, eyeshadow palettes that I wasn't sure that I wanted to use. And whichever one got the most votes were was going to be the palette that I was going to use for my video this weekend. And two of them ended up getting the same number of votes, so it was this Alomar Cosmetics palette that came with the last BoxyCharm. This was in June's BoxyCharm, I believe. So it was this palette and then also the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes palette. So I went on ahead and used them both in this look today. And I decided to have some fun and do some purple lips because why not? So if you want to see the tutorial on this look, then keep on watching. It is hot. Very, very hot day. Okay, so let's start off with some primer. I have the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. I'm gonna pop this on a face. So pretty much all of my Dr. Brandt stuff that I have, I think I have like four things now, um, I got within BoxyCharm. And I was kind of worried because like the first thing that I got from BoxyCharm that was Dr. Brandt was their like microdermabrasion face wash and I love the way that it worked like I love the product itself it just didn't love me and my t-zone my t-zone right here started getting like really red and irritated so I couldn't use it anymore and it made me so sad but luckily I haven't had any issues with anything else like I've been using that primer for a while and then the um, vacuum cleaner face mask that they just, um, that was in one of our boxy charms. I've been using that too, and that one's really awesome, so, yay. I am glad about that. Let's conceal, don't feel. Whew. I'm going to use my LA Euro Pro Conceal. Use the green tint here just to cover up this redness that I got going on right here. It's been a while since I've done an updated skincare video. Really, honestly, nothing has really changed. I am still using my Curology religiously, just like I was before, and it is still amazing, and I love it. So, well, now I just need to play around with more like face masks and stuff. I don't do those as often as I should. I don't, I really don't, and I should. Well, now for foundation, I got the It Cosmetics CC Cream right here in medium. I love this because for some reason, so, I mean, naturally you get, um, you look more fair in the winter and then you get darker in the summer and everything. So I tan super easily. So when I'm outside, just like for a run, I'll be out there for like 15, 20 minutes and like I already have a tan line from whatever I was wearing and my face, it also tans just as well. So it's kind of hard for me to pick, you know, colors for foundations and stuff if I know like I'm going to be outside a lot and everything. I tend to get darker pretty easy which makes it a little bit harder to get the right shade in foundation. However, comma, no matter what, this foundation seems to match me perfectly. Like I said, no matter what, I could be this, like, I could look like this whenever I don't have any makeup on, I could look darker, I don't know what it is, but it just blends into my actual skin tone perfectly, no matter what. So, this is my, like, safe bet to buy as a foundation when I don't want to like guess in trying a new foundation and trying to figure out exactly what it what my shade is and stuff because I'm really thorough when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't ever order foundations online or anything and I always get a tester of whatever foundation it is that I want to try and I'll wear it for a few days first before I actually buy it. So I just want to make sure that it doesn't like oxidize or anything. The color doesn't change after like it wears for a while and everything. So once I found the right shade and everything, then I will actually buy it. So 
when I don't feel like doing that, I will just buy this. I want to try the new Huda Beauty Foundation. Well, it's not really that new. What's really more new is the setting powder, which I also need to try, but the only place around here that carries it is always like sold out of it. They have like a few shades like of the actual samplers. They have like three of them there and then no actual products <laughs> to buy because everything's all sold out. So yeah, poo for me, but this is like pretty much running out. So I need to get another foundation, but um, if anything, I'll probably get the Estee Lauder foundation because I still haven't bought that yet, but I need to. I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in light neutral. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that yet. I am going to set this foundation with the Cosmetic Celebration Foundation in medium. I love this. So, when it comes to setting my actual foundation, I love using my Urban Decay, the uh, Naked Pressed um, Powder. However, this was like months ago, walked in there to get another one because I hit pan on the other one and they didn't have it in stock anymore. They, I mean, they still don't have it, which makes me sad because I really, really loved that pressed powder. I loved it so much. But during the 21 Days of Beauty, shortly after that, I ended up getting this and I love it. It's actually really awesome, so... At least I have something that I can substitute it with, but I'm really sad. I'm hoping that they're just reformulating it and then they'll come back out with it because that was really like my ultimate favorite pressed powder foundation. Okay, now we're going to take that face tape. Shape tape. <laughs> face tape. Huh. I need to find a new place to put some of my concealers because they're just not working where they're at. They keep falling down. So the Sapphire Beauty Blender, this, freaking love it. I've been needing a new beauty blender for like ever. Oh my god, the other beauty blender, like no matter how many times I washed it and everything, it was so hard. It was so stiff and everything. So like pouncing on my face. It was just like, doo, 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 doo. oh my gosh, it was terrible. And I waited too long to actually get another one. But I just, I kept telling myself that I needed to go get one. I needed to go get one. I just kept forgetting to go get one. But um, then they came out with that Sapphire one. And of course I'm all over that because I'm a September baby and Sapphire is my birthstone and I love it. So as soon as I saw that come out, I'm like, yep, I am getting that one. I looked at my husband and I was like, I've been needing a new beauty blender for like months, so I need to get this one. Okay. It's like, haven't you been saying that for months? I'm like, that's not the point here. Point is that I need one now, and this one's out now, so I need to get it now. Okay, Kat Von D Translucent Powder. One of my favorite setting powders as of right now. So let's go to bronzer contour. So I am going to take the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and I'm going to use medium cocoa in here. Boom, right here. With this crown brush that I got in one of my boxy charms. It doesn't have a name to it or anything, it just it just has the label on it, but fluffy brush. And just contour my cheeks. Put some contour on my nose. And for blush. Blush, let's go in with Benefit Coralista. This color right here. For 
highlight, I'm going to take ColourPop Lunch Money. Right after I take Benefit What's Up. Just put a little bit of that on first. Onto my cheekbones. And the bridge of my nose. And then I'm just going to take lunch money with my finger. Brow time. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. Let's shape these bitches. The Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, because I love this stuff. Alrighty, so going into the Alamar palette here. We are going to start with Coco Taxi, this nice orange right here. Taking that with my Sunny Kashuk blending brush and we're going to blend that into the crease after I prime my lids. All right, next, going to go in with a flat eyeshadow brush and we're going to go into Celia which is this really, really gorgeous metallic green shade. And we're gonna put that on the inner half of the eyelids. By the way, this is some really awesome pigmentation for me not having sprayed my brush with Fix Plus or anything. Going into this metallic color, so I'm pretty impressed. Okay. So next one, we're going to go through Verdero, the darker blue shade, and we're going to put this on the outer half of the lid. And I'm just going to use the other side of the flat shader brush to do that. Next, what I'm going to do is go in with my Sigma E25 blending brush. We are going to go into Cafe Cita. <laughs> We're going to go into this chocolate brown shade right here and just darken up that outer crease. <sighs> Blend these colors in together. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to take this color here with just with my finger and then I am going to blend this in between that green and that blue color. And using that same eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna blend the colors together. I think it's safe to say I need to wash my hands. So now what we're gonna do is put on a brow highlight and in neither of these palettes is a really good brow highlight color. So I'm just going to Take my Urban Decay Born of Run palette and we're going to go into Breakaway and use this as a brow highlight. Alright, so we'll just put on some eyeliner. I'm going to use my pretty vulgar little pot thingy here. And I'm just going to use this definer liner brush. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my e.l.f. What is this? My e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm going to go in with those crease colors that we used 
from the original palette. So I'm gonna go in with Coco Taxi first and put this all along the bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with Cafecito on the outer corner just to darken it. And now I'm gonna put that liner in my waterline. taking my Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara, which is like my number two favorite right now. Of course, my number one being the Benefit Bad Gal Lash. Not Bad Gal Bang, but the original. All right, so the eyes are done. Now I keep always zooming in. Let's throw some lipstick in here. What do we think? Do we want a purple? Hmm. Let's just do it. This is ColourPop Lippy Stick in Pack Pack. Let's see how this looks. Hmm. Okay, let's take this heart down. Because it was looking... Hot mess. Ooh. Still looking a hot mess. It's because it's hot. It's hot outside. Ooh. Ooh. It's about as good as my hair is getting for today. All right. So this is the finished I look for today. Woohoo! So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next one.